this demonstration, we'll be removing the inner door trim on the Ford F-150 from 97-2003 with electric windows. It's a fairly easy process removing the trim panel. There are a few clip components that we have to remove first before we can get to the actual screws. Tools to do today's application or removal will be the fiber stick. It's soft plastic and easy to pry underneath the trims so it doesn't break or mar the plastic. And a standard Phillips screwdriver. The Ford models that have manual doors, it's necessary to remove the door crank. That's done by using a horseship clip remove tool available at any of your retail hardware stores. First of all, to get behind the clip, slide the tool up, spreads out the horseshoe clip and in order to before you to pull the handle off. In order to remove the trim, we first have to take off the outer moldings. This is done by using a soft fiber stick, getting in behind the molding, and gently prying. On this one, there's two metal clips that are placed in with the square slots. Second, we need to remove the handle trim. This is done on the same way. Behind it, we'll gently and take it off. This one is also held on by one clip and a slide. Next is to remove the two Phillips screws that were hidden beneath the moldings. For that, we'll need a Phillips driver. Go ahead. One of our Phillips. And here's our second one. Now that our Phillips screws are removed, we now have to disconnect the electrical on the back of the plug switches. This is also done by using the soft fiber stick and gently prying up underneath. Now that it's all held on by a clip in one slide, we can see the electrical plugs for the back of the switches. This is easily removed by pressing and gently wiggling out the plug. This one. There's two. Be sure to be nice and gentle when you pull them out so you don't break the casing on the switches. This will prevent electrical connection. Just place that aside. Next is to actually lift off the trim panel and disconnect the weight. This is done by gently lifting up, making sure that we place over top of the door lock. Okay. Oh, Once the door panel there. is removed, we can now disconnect our light by turning it counterclockwise. With the trim panel now off, this gives us access to speaker, electrical wiring we have to do or any part of the hinges or the latching cables that have to be attended to or grease. This dust cover is easily removed too by gently pulling on it. When reinstalling the trim, we want to make sure to watch the tabs that slide into the door itself. This trim goes on and slides down. To place the trim back on, you may find it necessary to remove the door lock channel in order to get the trim back over the door cable. This is easily done by squeezing inside and pulling up. On the back it's held on by two plastic clips which will easily click in after you get the door trim on. That side. Placing the trim back on, up over the door lock, and pushing down. Next is to install the Phillips screws, one at the back of the door. And one at the front. Go ahead. Reattach your electrical, making sure to get a good solid click. 
it ensures that there's good connection. Slide back in on the tab, push down. Go ahead. Reinstall your trim around the handle. Pull out. Slide behind. Click in. And one at the back of the door. Be sure to align. That's how you remove and replace the inner trim on a Ford pickup truck. The things to remember is to go gentle, take your time, and it's just that easy.